Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the ta and tate exercises. In this lesson, we are going to give our doggy's neighbor, the cat, our note C, some exercises as well. But wait, there's more to this. You know when you read a book, we read words and sentences to tell a story? With music, we need notes on a stave to make music. Stave! What is that? It is our five lines and four spaces we place our notes on to give us different sounds. So apart from knowing the notes on the keyboard, we also need to know them on the stave. Now, because we can play the keyboard with both left and right hands, we are going to need two different staves. The right hand notes will be read from the treble stave and the left hand notes from the bass stave. Do you see these? Well, these symbols are called the treble clef and this one, the bass clef. Now they will give us different note names on each of these staves. Now, how interesting is that? But for the purpose of our lesson, that will not be the focus. We are going to learn more about the note C and its position on the stave. I'm going to swing our staves vertically. Here you can clearly see that the right hand is aligned to the treble stave and the left hand to the bass stave. Now here's an interesting thing. Our note C lies smack bang in the middle of these two staves on a short line. We call a ledger line. Now when placing the ta and tate on this ledger line, it simply means that we should play the note middle C on the keyboard. Now it is important that the ledger line goes through the head of the note. So, we know that the ledger line is for middle C. But, when we do play it with the right hand, and when do we play it with the left hand? It's simple. The ta and tate have a stem attached to the note head. Now, when the stem points up, from the note head we play with the right hand thumb and when the stem points downward from the note head we play with the left hand thumb. This means both thumbs should be on the white key and the rest of the fingers each on a white key. Let's get our hand in position and let's see how our fingers will come together. So let's place our thumbs firstly on middle C. Now land each finger gently on the other white keys. Great job! Remember to sit tall and keep the spaces between the elbow and the body. Check that your feet is also in front of you and not under the chair. Now before we start playing, let's first clap the rhythm of the following exercise on middle C. Ready? And ta 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 Wow! Well done! Now we're going to place our hands in position and play the same rhythm on the note middle C. Remember, when the stem goes up, we use our right hand thumb. And when the stem goes down, our left hand thumb. Great, here we go. And ta, 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 Wow! I hope you didn't get confused with the right and left thumbs there. Now for homework then, 
Make up your own little exercise using cars and tartes on Middle C and keep the cat fit.